I'm Jonathan Hollaby. I teach math at the High School of American Studies at Lehman College. And I'm one of the teachers who oversees the local outreach tutoring program uh, that you've been participating in live during the fall and winter, and now remotely in the spring. Thank you for participating. I am proud that you've spent time trying to make yourselves better academically. And that's really something our highest priority, everybody's right now, is staying safe. But then we need to find time to make things better, to make the world better, to make our communities better, make our families better, make ourselves better. Those are all good things. I'm proud of you. I'm also proud of our juniors who spent time making these videos. It was an effort to make our community better. And in fact, as you go forward, I hope you remember about percents and areas and about grammar and context and meaning and annotating. Um, but I also hope that you remember the feeling that comes with doing something good for you, doing something good for your neighbors, doing something good for your community. At some point down the line, some of you might come to the High School of American Studies and I'll be very glad to see you. But most of us will be going off in different directions. And I hope you remember these things about area and about context and about trying to make your world and your neighborhood and yourself better. Hi everyone, it's Alexa. Um, I just wanted to quickly say goodbye to you all. Um, it's, it's really sad that we don't actually get to say goodbye in real life, but hopefully we will see you all next year. Um, everything is still up in the air, but I wanted to tell you all how much I miss you. Um, law was such an important part of my week and my life, and I hope that you guys also found some sort of comfort and hopefully learned a lot, um, or as much as you could, <laughs> with us. We all like genuinely care about you guys so much and know that you're going to do so many amazing things and are so capable and intelligent. And it's really exciting because I've seen how much you've grown in the past um, months that I've known you so like I can't imagine like moving forward how much growing you guys have left and I hope you all are staying safe. Hey everybody it's Aisha. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching all the videos. I am so glad that we could get them out and I hope that you guys could enjoy them. I hope they helped you learn something. Hi guys it's Daniel. Um, I wanted to say how proud I am of all the work you've done this year. You're all a bunch of really smart kids and I'm sure you're gonna go on to do great yeah. things. Hi guys, it's Debbie, and I just wanted to say that I am so, so proud of everything that you've accomplished throughout this entire year. We've, so much has happened, first of all, like with COVID and quarantine, but even then we have like, we've gotten so, so much work done. We've accomplished so much. And from when we first met in seventh grade, you guys have made like an amazing amount of progress. And I'm just like, I just know whether it's for 8th grade or SHSIT, you guys are prepared. Like, you are prepared. Hi guys, it's Julia. I just wanted to say how proud I am of each and every one of you. You've all come so far, both as students and as people, and I'm so grateful that I've gotten to have the chance to work with you. I hope that you've been watching these videos and that you've taken something out of them, because we've all worked so hard to make sure that you're actually learning something, because I know it's been hard to do virtual learning. Hey guys, it's Leo. Um... I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's been watching our videos and it's it's so much fun teaching you guys and I hope that in the fall we'll be able to do it in person again. Hey everyone, it's Miranda. I just wanted to tell you all that I'm so so proud of all the work that you've been doing these past few weeks of online lot. I know that it was a really big transition, it was tough to go through for all of us, but you've all really stepped up to the plate, you know, doing all the the homework, the assignments, watching our videos. And I know that it's really going to pay off, okay? You're going to do well on the SHSAT, you're going to do well in school, because all this information is really important, and you've all done a really great job learning the information and applying it. Hey guys, uh, it's Spencer. I wanted to thank you all for all your hard work and dedication. It's really, really admirable, especially given the circumstances. Hi guys, it's Nora, and I just wanted to congratulate you all, not only on finishing seventh grade, but on completing these tutoring lessons. I'm very proud of all of you. I think your dedication is really showing and I know that if you think back to these lessons in the future, that they will prove very useful. And I know that you all have the capability to do well in the SHSAT in eighth grade and in high school. And I'm just very proud of all of you. Hi, this is Taha. 
I just want to say how proud I am that you guys were able to finish off the year strong. Hi guys, it's Rafi. Thank you so much for sticking with us throughout this spring as we went virtual and putting in all the hard work. I know it was weird and different, but I'm really proud of all you guys were able to accomplish. And I enjoyed work getting to know you all this year and seeing you all learn and grow. Um, I can't wait to see you again in person soon. Hopefully we'll all see each other in the fall when we're back. Hopefully we'll be back in school together, but I can't wait. Hi guys, it's Courtney. I just want to say that I'm so proud of all of you for the work that you've done in and out of quarantine. It was really fun working with you and I'm really, really glad I got that experience. You guys all have the potential to do really great on this test and I hope that you do. Hi, it's Melissa. I just wanted to say that I'm so happy that I got to meet all of you guys and I'm so proud of you for what you did in math law and what I know you're going to be doing in 8th grade. Hey guys, it's Jovan. I just wanted to tell everybody how proud I am of you guys for keeping up with the videos and doing the worksheets. I'm so proud of how far you guys have all come this year. I'm so excited to see what the future holds for each and every one of you. I hope you've enjoyed our digital law videos. For your summer, just have fun. I hope that you guys get to hang out with friends and family, go to barbecues and parties, all that fun stuff. Uh, this summer, if you have some time, I really suggest that you share them. We put these videos online for a reason, and if there's anyone else that we can help through these videos, we'd love to. So send them to a friend that you think might be interested, and read. Read a lot. Read the news, maybe, or like, follow current events. Maybe use some of the stuff that we taught you, like the annotating. Anyways, whatever you guys do this summer, I hope you have fun, I hope you stay safe, and I really hope I can see you guys next fall. This summer, I think, just learn something new, you know? like. Whether or not that's a genre of music, or a book, or a period of history, or vocabulary, anything. like Just learn something new that you can share with your friends and your family. Something I want you guys to do over the summer is start writing and reading more. I know I am part of math lot, not English lot, but this is something that I really want to stress. Because I personally love writing, and I know it's really important in 8th grade, and high school, and even in college. So start getting into it. One thing I hope you guys are able to do is keep up with current events and maybe start a journal. I know that we're living in very historic times, but I think in the future, if you have a journal of how you are feeling or what you felt in response to these things, it would be really incredible. And you can look back and you can think about how you felt the summer between seventh and eighth grade. There's one thing I think you should do this summer is spend a day without using any screens. I think we've all had enough screens these weeks inside. Just enjoy the world around you. I hope that this summer you get to relax and maybe reconnect with some friends. I know school might have been stressful and hard over these past few months because of COVID and I hope that now you get a chance to relax and hang out with friends and family. I hope you get to spend some time outside either at the beach or in nature this summer. Um, and just get to have a little bit of normality soon. Uh, I hope you can get outside this summer. Uh, I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna be happy about seeing my friends, which I have been able to do. I just wanted to say, have a great summer. Um, keep practicing. Don't lose touch of math things. And yeah, don't get too bored. If you guys have time this summer, just try to take half an hour and just take a walk, just alone with your thoughts. Just think about yourself in the world, in your life, and where you fit into the world. It's really meditative, and sometimes, you know, being able to reflect might give you more clarity. Try it. Going into summer, I hope you guys can keep up the good work. So, I just hope that you guys, you know, have a really great summer, relax a little bit, but also don't forget what we taught you because it's all going to be really important in the future, okay? And thank you again for all your hard work. I hope you have a great summer. And I can't wait to see you guys again. And yeah, I miss you guys. Thank you for an amazing week. And we hope to see you soon. I miss you all. And I wish I was there to say bye to you in person. I'm gonna miss you guys. So yeah, stay safe. Bye. And I guess this is goodbye. Bye. Bye.